What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. My face is a little brighter than normal because last time I had my window open for an entire studying video, um, it resulted, I started recording at like the brightest part of the day and throughout the day it got darker and darker. So I'm thinking, unless it gets brighter and brighter for some reason, um, my, my face isn't gonna be as white near the end, as, as dark at the end. So that's the plan. Before I study, I want to give a factorio update on what's going on. So, I'm still working on my main bus. I got, um, I thought I had all of my iron production done and I'm starting, and I just finished my copper production, uh, but that wasn't the case actually. Uh, in reality, I had just finished one half of my iron production and I had finished one half of my copper production. Um, I saw these four belts here. I saw this belt and I was like, oh, this belt has, this, uh, this bus has to be iron and this belt must be copper. But it was actually, my original plan was that these two belts were going to be iron and these two belts were going to be copper and that was the plan. Um, and so I sort of, you know, doing my things on autopilot, I got all these copper things set up over here. Um, and I have, oh, there is a radar over there, but right now, um, Right now it's disconnected from power because it's going to connect to power once this is connected, but it's not. But yeah, there's more copper stuff over here. There's just not a radar. Um, and then I realized, oh my god, this is supp both supposed to be iron, uh, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. I ended up having to destroy these chests uh, because they were full of copper buffers. Um, and even though these furnaces, you know, say that they're supposed to have copper, um, you know, you click on them and there's nothing in them, right? Uh, except coal. So, so the plan is, you know, uh, in the future, maybe a little bit today, I'm going to be grabbing a, grabbing iron from a very convenient iron outpost right here. Um, there just so happens that my iron production here is right next to it. So I'll, I'll just be able to like what the, the shape of the infrastructure won't change, which is nice. Um, and speaking of infrastructure, it's really not that bad that I did all this copper stuff because I ha now I have, like, when I start doing copper and I need to do the first half of copper, I already have all this stuff set up, um, which is great, but, um, you know, it's just a surprise. Um, again, like last time, all of my, uh, all of my landfill stuff is done. My first stone outpost is, like, almost completely gone. It's only 98,000 stone, um, and of course I'm mining that very uh, I guess that's maybe as efficient as you can get it, but, um, you know, I'm mining it and I'm still making my, uh, landfill over there, but I think this might be full. Yeah, I'm full of landfill here, so I just sort of have a lot of landfill, um, which isn't useful right now considering, like, a vast majority of this lake is filled in, except for, like, this bit and this bit, which doesn't really matter right now, um, but, um, it is, like, uh, going to be helpful if in the future, say, I need to, like, fill in this lake and I need to, what I, like, I want to put solar here or something. Um, but, you know, for now, things are going pretty okay. Uh, throughout this, I, I might do something here. That was a nothing sentence. Um, I've worked on some very minor uh, oil production stuff. I did some just for plastic, so I could just hand craft some very minor stuff that requires plastic, like um, stack inserters. Um, I have a whole bunch of rails in my inventory because I was like, oh, I'll do, uh, I'll do trains, I'll do a train network, and I'll stack inserters, like, you know how, um, when you have a train filling station, you just have a whole bunch of stack inserters right there, you know what I mean? Um, and I was thinking I would do that, um, that's a lot of trouble, I, 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 uh, maybe this is gonna bite me in the back, but I honestly don't see the issue in just having a gigantic conveyor belt, um, but yeah, anyway, I set up some very rudimentary uh, oil production exclusively just for some plastic. Uh, but um, I was like, oh, I should probably do some, uh, I saw that there was like a power armor thing you can do, and this is probably not efficient. I probably don't need this many batteries and I probably don't need this many solar panels, but I realized I could do night vision and I can do belt immunity. So um, you'll notice when I'm on these belts, it's not really affecting me, which is really nice. Uh, and when I take this off, the belts do affect me and it's a whole thing. Um, but you know,
Where did that go? Am I stupid? Maybe that's a bug if your inventory. My inventory is just full right now. This is like when you have a hard drive that's full and then like you can't really update your games because the updates require more like more storage on your hard drive and you don't have any. Um, God, okay. Hmm. My inventory just shouldn't be full. Sure. Um. Man, did my belt immunity module just disappear? I actually just have no idea where it went. That is just so strange. Okay, that's fine. All I really need is some steel, which um, I actually can just make right now. Really, dude? Oh, and I need plastic. God. That was just the strangest thing on Earth. That was just so weird. Oh, my belt immunity module is right there. What? Why is it on a conveyor belt? I'll have to look back at this when I'm done studying. Anyway, uh, you couldn't really see it because it was all happening at night, but now I have a night vision. I still like these lamps because they make everything like a normal color when they're on, but, um, you know. I'm not going to throw this out because I might want some of this, but a way you can throw stuff out is you can shoot chests like this and then um, they don't have any stuff anymore. I didn't need I should. Okay. Um, okay. That's basically the factorio update. I'm honestly probably just gonna quit the game now because I don't really have much to do, but I might do some stuff at some point. But yeah, it's, it's study time.
I'm gonna have my mic on because my parents are home so there isn't much background noise, but I think it could be either configured the Soho router for network address translation, um, or it could be upgrade the firmware on the Soho router because these answers just love talking about like updating your computer, uh, which is fair because a lot of the time that is the fix, uh, especially for like graphics card issues, like you just need to update the driver. Uh, but um, I think I've tried this one in the past when really it's the network address translation, but it could be these other two and I'm entirely wrong, but I think it's this one. Yeah, it is, okay. open the firewall port. Yeah. That one's a tricky one because the only thing that differentiates one answer from any other answer is like the very end of the answer. And a lot of the time you just gotta read the first half of all the answers and you sort of get the gist. Uh, but for that one, they're all very similar, like structurally until the very last uh, statement of what, like, what type of disc it is. And every time a single-sided, single-layered um, Blu-ray disc is gonna be much larger than any DVD or CD, kind of no matter what. Um, but you know you don't really realize that because and you say you see oh dual layer uh, like uh, dual layer double sided you know and you think oh this must have more storage capacity than the rest of them because it has like the most doubles you know and really it's actually blue red. <laughs> Oh man, I accidentally had, these are accidentally the same answer. I can't tell because they're in a different order when I'm making them. Um, I'm gonna have to guess. That's gotta be one of these. Okay. For those, it's just random and it kind of sucks. But I guess it's good because no matter, if you do get it wrong, the worst part is that you're just going to run into the same question again, which is fine. I mean, you're just learning it more. Retrieve. I think it's pop three. So it's definitely not one. I think it, it's pop three and uh, it's not two. That's got to be three. Yeah. Technically it's Linux, but you know, out of those answers, I guess it's Windows. Well, I don't know, a lot of web servers run Ubuntu server for whatever reason, even though they have snaps, I think. Why would you want snaps on a, on a web server? That's so stupid. Uh, it's either a switch or a router. I think it might be a switch because a router has its own subnet. Like, I don't, like, this might sound stupid, but can a router route in between subnets? I guess it does route, right? It routes between, um, I think, I think it's router, actually. I think it's router. Okay, yeah, okay. Pretty sure 
two, three, and four don't need you to mount it, so I'm gonna guess SCCM. ISO file. Uh, maybe mounting it inside of like the virtual drive, but that's not really a thing. ISO is sort of to act like folders. That's reasonable. Why would you want to rename files in the registry editor? That would be stupid. These ones are always difficult. I think it might be unavailable. Oh. I think LS works on PowerShell now. I think LS might just be an alias for DIR on PowerShell though. I think that was kind of obvious. This is the one. There's this one question that makes me answer stupidly. Um, and it's this question. Because sometimes I run into a question where it's like, oh, some colors are being displayed incorrectly on a display. And one of the answers is like, oh, the resolution is wrong, uh, which is just strange. I personally never ran into that, uh, which isn't saying much, but I, I just have never heard of this being an issue. Um, and so whenever I see a question like that and I see an answer that's like, oh, the resolution is wrong, I choose that because I think it's this question, but it's not. Um, it's something to do with the 
And so this time I thought it was not that question, but it was that question. It was terrible. So I guess the source computer's resolution settings do not match the projector's resolution settings. Why would you ever do thin partitioning? Thin provisioning. Is it thin partitioning or thin provisioning? Uh, sure, okay. There were so many, unless progressive meant something else. Yeah, it's so crazy how many progressives were eugenicists back in like the early 90s, early 1900s, I mean. So I think with the banking analogy with thin provisioning, I think it's like 
you know, uh, like if somebody, if everybody has ten million dollars in a bank, uh, one person could take out ten million dollars. But is that? But if everybody took out ten million dollars, it wouldn't really work. So that implies, in a thin provision like uh, virtual virtualization system, uh, you shouldn't thin provision over the resources you have, because uh, then that would just be lying. Uh, but if you're in a situation where it's pretty likely that a lot of people aren't going to be using the virtualized like host machines at the same time, then you know you could probably thin provision a little bit and give the users quite a bit more confidence in you know their their, their usage of the virtualized system because they see more resources and also um, uh, uh, their virtual machines are more available to. Uh, to do more things, but in the case of hard drives, I don't know, it just doesn't make much sense. Oh man. Um, I think it's a uh, three, yeah. Something just hit my window, I don't know if you're in that. Wow, both answers are pinged twice in a row. So strange that they call it disk time despite it being related to memory. Is that even true? I think this might just not be true. Like, memory isn't even mentioned on this page. I think this one is just wrong. I better actually fix this one. Mics, my mic's muted. On Linux, there's this terrible, terrible thing where 
if you copy something and then you close the window, it's removed from your clipboard. Uh, and I just did that because it, it, that isn't how that should work. Um, I should really fix that. Skim like a fuzzy finder? Why not just use FCF? Oh, it's just a Rust alternative. I see. I could, but I don't know how that'll mess with my, like, screenshot stuff. Big thing. Can I? Is there something simpler? Uh, I'm not really interested in a graphical one, but QT is cool. Hello? No screenshots? Why? Why no screenshots on the GitHub? Oh, it's also a Windows thing. Yeah, on website. Oh, interesting. You know, sometimes the KDE ecosystem seems really nice. Is it in one of these? Okay, cool.
Hello? Okay. I worry about extension magnets because hard drives are also magnetic and I worry about it like messing with the bits on the hard drive. I know that's probably not an issue because like people use magnetic screwdrivers all the time in computers, but still, you know, magnets just near computers, it's just scary. Oh, uh, doesn't it send it to the printer? Okay. Okay. Okay, dude. Nobody uses AMR or AGP. Nobody has that on their motherboard, so I, I don't know why this is a why this is even a question. And I mean, okay, maybe if you're running into legacy hardware, you know, in the field, right? Uh, but it bothers me when these questions come up because you know one of the answers is AMR, one of the answers is AGP, and I'm like, man, is it is it one? I, I it, it's one of these for sure. I, I should probably know <laughs> AMR. Uh, computer. Audio modem riser. Okay. R for riser, AM, riser, audio modem, riser. I guess that one. Oh, okay, yeah, you ins you just installed it into your motherboard, so it makes sense that you wouldn't like check to see if they match because they already put it in. Uh, it would make sense. Oh, and they say new CPU, so it would make sense to update BIOS because the software for the CPU might not be in the motherboard. Oh well. Things keep hitting my window. Gotta be bugged or something. It's gotta be. S oh, that makes sense. Because you got an external, external hard drive. Yeah, I answered that correctly in the past. I think Unidim, but nobody uses Unidim. People use Unidim. Yeah, nobody uses Unidim, dude.
that makes sense. Is that true? Okay, yeah, I mean, I guess if this person also has it, I guess it's gotta be clean. That's so strange. That's just strange. To me, it would be in place because you don't, I guess you do have to worry about what you wanna keep. That's just, that's hard to remember. Okay, I always think it's access gateway and Wi-Fi, but I think it might be gateway system and data storage. That's crazy to me. That's cr that's insane. Okay. Graphically, sure, but otherwise you would use aptitude.
It's a very strange question. I don't know what I was trying to ask. I think it's Kerberos? Yeah. My watch is telling me I should stand, so I'm going to take a break for a second and get some water. Hello, all. I got some dry roasted edamame and some milk, but my parents are home now, so I'm going to mute my microphone. Hello all. My mom actually, she got me sushi at the store, so I'm gonna save my dry roasted edamame for later and I'm gonna have some milk and some sushi, which is a little weird, but I don't mind. Uh, so I'm gonna take a really quick break as I eat this. Um, I'll be done by 12.20, I think. Hey everybody, that was a little longer than about 15 minutes. Uh, you know, it is 3 p.m. now, uh, but I was just talking with my family and why, why can't a man talk to his family? You know, why, why, why can't somebody talk to his family? Uh, you know, I'm going to study a lot tomorrow, but today, uh, I don't think I have to. Uh, I'm going to play some Melee now. Uh, bye.